Representative Brian Babin, a Republican of Texas, went on the Family Research Council's uh, Washington Watch radio show, and he gave us some great insight into what the far right really thinks about the issue of health insurance and health care. But the sad reality is that we've had a taste of socialized medicine, government knows best, and even some of our Republicans are reluctant uh, to turn the clock back a little bit on this. And uh, they are, you know, I don't know what I can say, except that we've got to give the American people what they voted for. Overwhelmingly, the American people want to get rid of this thing. I'm sick and tired of listening to Democrats say, don't get rid of it, just reform it and fix it. This is after they lied and used disingenuous methods to ram this down our throats. Not one Republican voted for it. Overwhelmingly, the American people were against this, you know, back seven and a half years ago. And it needs to be uh, repealed and replaced. And so failure is not an option. I think my, my colleagues in the Senate need to get together and let's get something that we can offer the American people uh, to get, get them freedom and choice. And uh, why should, a, why should a, a, a 25 or 30-year-old man have to have maternity insurance? <laughs> Why should every every uh, policy have a drug uh, rehab uh, a clause in it and coverage in it? Uh, these are just uh, government knows best insurance regs that make the prices go up. So we've got to we've got to give them some some choices here. God, he's so stupid it hurts. Um... So yet again, this is this reminds me of that Paul Ryan clip where he's describing how well look. Under Obamacare, what you have is, like, younger, healthier people paying into the system, and, like, it's going to all the older people who need the health care. Yeah. That's called insurance. Do you not- do you not get that? Now, this jackass is like, why? I don't understand why we have, uh, you know, 25, 30-year-old males why would they need to pay into a system that gives out maternity care and does, like, drug rehab? Okay, take that idiotic logic and apply it across the board. Now, why would a 25 or 30-year-old who's a safe driver uh, need to have insurance for broken legs and broken arms? He's a safe driver. He don't get into no accidents. Why? Would a 25 or 30 year old have to pay into insurance that covers heart related issues or cancer? He's young, he's not gonna get heart related issues or cancer. You could apply that anywhere. Yeah, we get it. When you're young and healthy, you're young and healthy. At that time, you don't think, oh, I'm never gonna need it because I'm young and healthy right now. But who knows? You do get into a car accident. You do have a wife and the wife gets pregnant. You do stumble into a drug problem or somebody in your family does, your kid who's on your health insurance rolls. You do get cancer at a certain age or get heart disease, have a heart attack young. Th these things fucking happen, man. And even if they don't happen, that's still the point of insurance. You pay in. And then the people who need the care get it, and they don't go broke when they need it. And then you, when you're older and you hit a time where you need it, you get it because everybody's paying into the system. That's how- that's insurance. That's insurance. The whole idea is that let's not put it on each individual, because if you put it on each individual, well, then people are going to go bankrupt all the fucking time because when catastrophe hits, they don't have the money in order to pay for it. But this is how these guys think. They're such simpletons. Oh my god. God, man. Oh, that's so sad. And then, uh, just real quick, the final point about this. He keeps on, it, you know, Obamacare is very unpopular with the American people, and we've been saying we're gonna do this all along, we gotta deliver for them. Only 9% of the American people want a full repeal of Obamacare. 9%! 9%! That's nothing. Now, furthermore, when you look at uh, more in-depth polling about Obamacare, so yes, when you ask just about Obamacare, then it varies. Sometimes 52% of people say, I support it. 52% of people say, I'm against it. So sometimes it's a little underwater, a little overwater. But when you go provision by provision in Obamacare, virtually every position, uh, uh, provision in Obamacare is overwhelmingly popular. So it's misleading to say, oh yeah, Obamacare. And then also... The Affordable Care Act, which is the same thing as Obamacare, when you pull about, uh, on that, it's almost always over 
So you just change the how you're phrasing it and change the way you word the question, and then people go, oh yeah, I love that one. So it's he, he, the guy's just wrong. He has no clue what the fuck he's talking about. He's simply not bright enough to try to craft policy that uh, has to do with health care and health insurance and people's lives. But there he is, expressing his ignorance on a radio show.